Hey everyone. So today I'm. Uh, I was thinking that I should that I show you how I program my FMC for a flight in uh, PMDG 738. Um, this is how I do it and. I'm not sure it's the right way, but it seems to be working fine, so... Um, well, let's get started. Uh, usually, I start by listening to the 80s. Well, I I'm not sure if the uh, one ways in juice are accurate. Uh, usually I check uh, the one ways at flight radar. Um, I do have Rex Skyforce, so I'm not pretty sure how it works uh, depending on winds and stuff uh, we have a 4 knot wind uh, 0 0.80 0 degrees so weather conditions are clear uh, but I think that I'm standing at ESGG. Uh, most of the times they are using uh, runway 2-1 for arrival and 2-1 for departure. Uh, but the 80s said 0 3. So I'm not sure about. Uh, first thing I do is to align my IRSs and I insert the airport and we are standing at gate 15. And I usually take the GPS left value and insert it to the IRS position. Move it to next one. Insert the origin airport. And let's take runway 21 and co route. I have a flight plan made in Professional Flight Planner Pro X. So we are going from ESGG to Lemd, Madrid, Spain. It's a five two two nine. Okay, insert runway again and activate. Execute. Move it to the performance. We can't proceed that one right now because we need to load our our aircraft with some fuel. I need to check my flight plan. Now we have release fuel. Nine one seven four kilos. Here we go. And we have 
164 packs. All set to go. And zero fuel weight. Just pick that one. You'll see the zero fuel weight there. The search. Cost index. 80. Uh, the cost index you can uh, it depends on the airline you're flying for um, I think it all comes down to fuel savings and stuff I usually use 80 uh, reserve 0.3 30 minutes reserve And transition altitude, ESGG has 5,000 feet. There we go. And cruising altitude, we have flight level 380. A bit higher than the recommended. Execute and one limit. Usually I have it set to the default uh, turn, Go to this tab, take off reference Page 2 And let's check the wind again So zero, 080 zero. Uh, 4 knots, 0 4. Here we go. Back to page 1. Usually I uh, use flaps 5. So the takeoff speeds we have V2 152 knots. Insert it in the MCP so I don't forget it. You saw I clicked on the left sided uh, button I got the center gravity percentage insert it and I get the trim uh, just guessing now down there maybe 550 All set here. Go to the departure arrival tab. Into departure, and our departure seed is body two J. Runway 21 Execute Our expected arrival is ADOX 1D Whoopsie daisy ADOX 1D And Need to check the arrival runway V2 right and I want a ILS approach I'm not sure what ILS Sulu is and ILS Whiskey no idea what that is uh, ILS I'm not sure what these last letters means. So, ILS Sulu 3 2 right. Transition. Do we have any transition on our white plan? Aspin or Tobek?
Uh, I don't think we have any transition, right? Well, we have the S-pin, actually. Select that one. Go to the legs tab. Check for discontinuities. Nope, nothing. And we could go to... Uh, I'm not sure which it is. Alternative destinations. We have an alternative airport. Veto. Insert it there. There we go. So we are pretty much set here. Uh, and I usually check the 80s. Uh, when I start my taxi and when I'm at the uh, hold short position and if there is a ATC online I get the ATC info uh, from the tower so same goes for the uh, initial climb altitude it's uh, uh, the tower that gives me that info. Uh, we can check runway heading 204. Here we go. Seems correct. And when I'm standing at gate. I usually arm the L nav and V nav. Most of the times uh, it works. Um, some of you maybe saw my posts in the forum or the Facebook group. Uh, I got trouble with the L nav. I couldn't engage it and. Uh, it was because I was too far away from the either from the seed first seed or from the first star or from the runway heading. Uh, so that was the first time I had that issue so um well that's pretty much it for my initial setup of the FMC uh, the next thing I usually do is to board the airplane and also request the catering I like to be prepared with all the FMC programming uh, that way I get more time focusing on the ATC phraseology something yeah the ATC communication. So. I hope you liked the video. Uh, I might have forgotten some stuff. Uh, please correct me if I did miss something. That way I can learn from it. See you guys. Bye.